I am so sorry. My mind turned off. There's nothing I can do to make amends with that. I apologize deeply. Oh no. My mind is just going a million miles an hour and I didn't even think about that. I'm sorry. What's your RTG? Ah. Uh, I'm not stoned. All right. I might be stoned sometimes, but tonight's not the night. I paid out the rug side of the prediction. Ah. Uh, that is unfortunate. I can't refund. It's already it's gone through. I'm with Darth smoking. Yeah, it's it's copium. That's that's what it is. I don't think you can give points out yet. At least last I checked, it was probably a year ago, six months ago. Wasn't able to do it. So I assume it's the same now. Oh, we're going to do the intro. Here we are, back in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, at the Vipers Zone. The Pittsburgh Vipers taking on the Kodakook Stars. Kodakook coming off a wallop from the Philadelphia Fantasy. Will they make it back? Will they get back in the saddle? Will they clinch the first seed going into the playoffs? Those are the questions we're here to ask and answer here tonight. Taking a look at the roster from both sides of the ice, the visiting team, the Kodakook Stars, right now 14-1-0. Not something I thought I was going to say going into tonight, but it's something I have to say because I'm just the caster. Pittsburgh advancing to a 10-win, four regulation losses. Nothing in overtime loss from the Pittsburgh side of the ice. They're feeling high, they're feeling mighty, but will they feel mighty enough to take down Kodakook for the second time in their season this time around? Last time these two teams met, Pittsburgh Vipers not fortunate enough to walk away with a victory, but maybe tonight has another story. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if we're going to see another chapter of history unfold, but either way, we're going to see the results of this game unless God strikes me down or my internet down. Both of those are equally possible. Last time these two teams met, Pittsburgh able to walk away with a victory 8-5, to five, and uh they're feeling pretty all right about that. That was on, no, that wasn't. That was not the last time. That was the first time these teams have met. These teams have met exactly three times in their, their franchise organization's history. First time Pittsburgh won it eight to five. Second time Pittsburgh won it six to three back in March of 2023. Or is that May? May's the fifth month, right? Maybe I am stunned. I really don't know what's happening. My brain is just fried. Last time these teams met, 7-6, the final score. Kota Cook found their first franchise win against the Pittsburgh side of the ice. Pittsburgh starting lineup was Crooks, Hex, and Milk. Milk had three goals. Hex with one, Crooks with two for the total of six from the Pittsburgh Vipers. And for the Kota Cook Stars, they had Blue Crusade, Debon, their regular starting three. Blue and Crusade both had a hat trick for six. Debon with one to make a total of seven. That was decided in regulation. And uh, tonight might be the same story. It might not be, but either way, the Pittsburgh Vipers coming off a win. Kota Cook Stars coming off a loss. Two things that not everybody was uh, fully one-sided on. And uh, we'll see what they got here tonight. Blue Devon Crusade in the lobby for the Kota Cook Stars. Pittsburgh Vipers still getting warmed up in a pub match, I would assume. We saw three minutes until the 9.30 hour. And so we'll take at a look at the previous five before we get too deep into tonight. Pittsburgh Vipers, three games winning streak, finding a 10-3 victory over the Columbus Clappers, a 7-8 victory over the second second seed of the Pro Division, the Plymouth Plague. And then a few moments ago, 
Kotoku took out the Napoleon Neapolitans 11 to 9. Kotoku stars 14 game winning streak. That's all you need to know. They've played this team before. They beat them. They can beat them again. Pittsburgh can also change the uh, the tail of the book here tonight. Go a little one and one action on them. And uh, they need it. They really do. Taking a look at the standings as they stand right now. Don't know if there's a staff member to update the scorers on the website. This is what it looks like on our website, spl.gg, if you want to take a look at it on your own free time. But uh, Kota Cook Stars, 14-1 on the season. Plymouth Plague going to be playing them after this one, I believe. Kota Cook really just had a gauntlet run set up for tonight. Don't know how it happened. Don't know if it's my fault. Don't know if it's just the, uh, the extensions filed for last week. But... Uh, they're playing the second seed, they're playing the third seed, they're playing the fifth seed, and then they play the the, uh, the sixth seed. They got a game against Pittsburgh, they got a game against Philadelphia, they got a game against Plymouth, the three Ps of pro, and then of course another one against Napoli to end off the night at about 10.30. Um, we'll take a look at that game. But uh, yeah, KOTOR also in the lobby if the Kodakook Stars deem to call on him. But uh, I think we're going to be sticking with our core three here tonight in Kodakook, looking to end this one out on a high note. To uh, clinch out the first seed, they have a few more notches in the belt they have to make. Um, you really just need to only lose one more game, and then, or if they can, if they can clutch out the remaining three games, as long as they beat Plymouth, I don't think it really matters. Plymouth Plague still have three points on the standings for, uh, or three games on the uh, the standings for points to grab. One of them being against the Kota Cook Stars. Plymouth Plague also having games against the Erie Eels and the Columbus Clappers. Columbus Clappers game does not have any time on the website, so I do not know if that's being played, but the Erie Eels and the Plymouth Plague already have a result as they were set to play at 8.30 today. We were casting another game, so we didn't get to see it. Um, I'm looking through the log channel. There's only one open, and it's the Vipers taking a game off the noobs. That's the only log that's open right now. None of the captains have submitted any of the scores. They want it to be a mystery to them as well as ourselves. Who is going to be in the first round of the playoffs and who are they going to be playing? It's guaranteed that the Fantasy, the Eels, the Vipers, and the Neapolitans will be playing in the first round of the playoffs. The Stars and the Plague can interchange each other, looking to uh, take that first round by, decide what side of the bracket they want to be on. So the Stars want to win, have the easier side of the bracket, quote unquote. They will be playing against what will be the Fantasy if uh, the Eels or the Pittsburgh Vipers didn't overlap them for that third place spot. Um, yeah, that's just, it's all, it's still up in the air. Nobody knows who they're playing yet. Nobody knows who's, which side of the bracket is who's going to be on. Um, no pro team has submitted a score yet tonight. Uh, the only scores that we know are the ones that we've seen on this broadcast. But Yager, Crooks, Hex in the lobby for the Pittsburgh Vipers, Blue Debon Crusade, as well as Kotor on the ice here tonight for Kota Cook. And uh, they're ready to rock. They're ready to roll. We'll take this one down on the ice here for game three out of our five here on the SPO Network. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Darth. We're rocking with it. We're leaning with it. And that puck is down and this game is underway. But uh, Pittsburgh going to be wearing the black jerseys on the right side of your screen. A little mix up from uh, the colors up on the scoreboard. But uh, if they do have accents on any of their cosmetics, which I doubt they do, a lot of people just like to use black in this game. So uh, there's going to be a lot of black down there on the ice. And uh, it's not quite like Rocket League, where you have to have a certain amount of primary color on your car to uh, differentiate you from the opponent. Hex down low. Look at the cycle this one. Back over to Crooks. Crooks near side for Pittsburgh. Challenged there by Blue. Crusade. Back over to Debon. Debon top side thrown out of the defensive end and into the O zone. So he looks to uh, hit one of his teammates in stride. Not able to do so. Pittsburgh here with the puck. Looks top side, then near. Off the back end, stopped by Crusade. Here's Blue with it now. Blue, top side, not able to split the defense. Hex takes it away, shooting. Near side, and that one goes wide. Debon, looking to bring this one around the rosy. Debon, Blue. Looks top side once more. Getting a hand on this one. Finding way off Blue. Blue with the forehand, not able to get past the opposition. Hex takes it away, a forehand shot. Now not able to take that one in towards the cage. I looked away for a moment. What happened? Did he sneeze? 340 to go in the first. It should be one nothing. That's unfortunate. I thought it was just a short shot goal. Little, uh, what, what was his name? Little Rocky Bowl moment. Oh my gosh. That's unfortunate. I don't, 
I, there's nothing I can say to make the hurt go away. Kirks down low in his own zone. Looking to take this one out under his own volition off the back end. Finds Yager. Yager pulling, shooting. Goes off Hex. Hex off the near side. Not able to get it to go. And Blue going to walk that one away towards that top side of the ice. Yager takes it. Finds its way down near side. Hex trails after it. As he tries to get this one back out for Pittsburgh. Hex dangling. Pass out towards Kirks. Kirks backhand shot goes off a of body and wide. Yager keeps it alive. Kirks down low. Finds Yager in the corner. To the point. Kirks at the red line. Looking to take his way towards that top side. Gets past Crusade. Finding his way off Yager. Near side. Here's Hex with it now for Pittsburgh. Off the forehand. The backhand. Stopped up, top side, shooting, scoring, and it goes into the back of the net. Pittsburgh Vipers able to find a way to get on the board first here tonight. It's one to four, or it's one nothing. I'm looking at the shot total. Maybe I am high. I really don't know what to tell you right now. All I know is the Snake team's beating the team from space, one nothing. Yager takes the front side, shooting, scoring, and it's two nothing. Two minutes, 36 seconds to go in the first period of action, and the Kota Cook Stars didn't have a defenseman on the ice to stop that one. Man. Brooks looks to dance his way, shooting. Nice stop there by Crusade to flex that one wide. Getting that one out in front, off the post. Yager is going to shimmy that one into the back of the twine. It's now 3 0 on the board. Yager just waiting out in front of the crease for a moment to happen, and well, it was in fact his. The 2.25 to go here in the first. Gap is now three. X topside, Yager pulling, shooting, scoring, and that's four. This has been blown wide open. Dakota Cook confidence is just shattered right now. I don't know what is happening. They have time to stop the bleeding. Do they not want to be on the in the first seed position? Are they throwing the game? I really don't know. Is the is the endurance of Blue just not good enough to play five hours of SPL slap shot? Your guess is as good as mine. Or nothing on the board. No shots for Kota Cook so far. Crooks near side. Two minutes to go. Tries to turn inside out on Crusade, finding his way off Yager. Back to Crooks. Crooks here in the neutral zone. Crusade here takes it up. Off the forehand, tries to get past Crooks, and it's a stick check against him. Blue shooting, scoring, and the first shot, able to find its way into the back of the twine. 146 to go here in the first, and Blue singing it a lullaby. It was an empty cage, pretty much. As long as he hit the field goal, it was going to be good. 145 to go here, three chapters of play between these two teams. One of them stands on top, and they be a snake. Crusade, back to the point. Debon trying to find the stars as this one goes down low. Great save by Crooks. Sound comes out the other way. Debon near side finds Blue. Blue here takes it in stride. Forehand shot goes off. Yager and in. Oh, that's unfortunate. Blue. Great. I think dry saddle impression is what uh, the most known player in the game right now is known for banking it off the backside of the goalie. 126 to go here in the first. The gap's down to two. Kota Cook not going anywhere. Debon looking near side. Crooks taking this one back for Pittsburgh. Off the back end, forehand, opens it up, finds Hex. Hex, forehand pass, looking for Yager, leads him too far. Blue, back over to Debon. Debon here with an out, backhand pass over topside over to Blue. Blue backhand, stopped there by Yager, sent down low to Debon. Debon here with 60 seconds to go, crosses this one over. Crusade, sees the two goal deficit, wants to make it one. Kirk's not letting anything easy be taken from him. Forehand pass goes over the sticks of the off opposing team. That one comes out to Yager, Hex topside, keeps it low. Yager, backhand pass out to the point, but nobody there in a black jersey to take that one and straddle it. Here's Crooks, near side, gets this one past Blue. No, I, I've been wrong, and I've been wrong right now. Crooks gets it back, though. Hex near side, finds his way back to the neutral zone, passes this one over to Crooks, topside Yager, shot into the lane, but not on. Blue here takes this one near side, shooting, hits the body of Crooks, and that one is deflected wide. Thrown down low. Here's Debon. Gets past one topside pass out of the reach of Crusade. Crusade to the point. Finds Debon. Down low. Crusade out in front. Not able to find Blue. Great stick check there by Hex. Throws him off kilter. Lob down low. Here's Debon with 10 seconds remaining and a two goal deficit. Looking to bring it back within one before the period is over here in the first. Blue here with an out. Backhand pulling. Goes to the top side over to Crusade. Crusade out in front. Stopped by Crooks. And that one's going to be lobbed out for the end of the first period of action. Six goals have been scored. Four of them for Pittsburgh. Two of them for Kota Cook. Both teams not backing down by any stretch of the imagination here tonight. Eight shots, four of them going in. Pittsburgh finding a way to get it done. Five shots, two. Kota Cook also getting a few notches on the belt here tonight. But five shots for Kota Cook. They need to get a few more shots on the money. They got to pressure the goalie. They got to make him make the save. 
you don't shoot, you don't score, or something Gordy Howe. That, <laughs> that wasn't Gordy Howe's quote at all. One goal for Kruitz, three for Yager. Heck still looking for his first not apple here tonight in the points column. And all three saves from Pittsburgh from Crooks. Blue and Debon sharing the load of saves back on the defensive side for the Stars to a piece on the night. But it's going to be a long night for the Kota Cook Stars. They got this game. They play the plague after that. And after that one's over immediately, it'll be the Napoleon Neapolitans for their final game of the season against Kota Cook. Going to be a good one. Going to be a lengthy one. Taking a look at uh, what is something that I was supposed to talk about earlier. Players to watch here tonight. All-time pro goals. Kyler, Blue. They're challenging each other for the 400th goal in both of their careers in the Pro Division. Bloom got a few notches on the belt earlier here tonight. Will he make it to 400? Real question on the ice here tonight. One that I'm excited for. Not many people know about this. Not many people pay attention to it. We still have a lot of active shooters in the league right now. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what they got. We're taking this one back down to the ice. Cody Cook Star is going to be on the left side of your screen in the red. Pittsburgh Vipers in the blue and the black. Defending the right cage, it's 4-2. to two. Pittsburgh leads it. We're getting this one down in Jiggy here in the second. Immediate shot from the Pittsburgh Vipers. Not able to take advantage of that one. Zone one trickles off into the far side wall. Here's Deeb on top side. Kruks. Looking to pull this one away over to Yager. Yager. Down low. Finding Hex. Top side. Nice shot. Better block there on that wraparound by Blue. Blue. Looking down low. Went all the way down, Cruz for the shot, but not on. Ebon gonna trail after this one with 425 to go here in the second. Looks top side over to Blue. Blue starts the breakout. Lags with it. That might be my internet. Here's Crusade. X. Back down low. X with it. Looks top side. Stop by Blue. Yager with a great stick check. Freeze that one back up for the Pittsburgh Vipers. Kirk's here with it now with 4 or 5 to go here in the second. Wants to make that a 5-2 difference on the board. Not able to find the net on that one. Here's Hex down low. Dangle shoots, hits. The post goes off Debon and out of the zone. Kirk's keeps it alive. Forehand back in. Not a little too fancy. Not enough movement. He shuffled his feet. Challenged the cut. Not able to make it away. Here's Blue with an out. Throws this one across the grain against his better judgment. Crusade not able to take that one away. Yager finds his way down low. Hex off the side of the cage. Debon gets a hip on that one. Here's Blue with it now with 3.36 to go here in the middle chapter of play. Hex down low. Stopped by Blue. Goes over to Yager to Crusade. Crusade top side. The two duck heads looking to swing their sticks at each other. Debon finds a forehand. Hex gets a better stick check. Screwed it. Scoring top shelf where you keep the peanut butter. And it's 5-2. to 3.24 to go here in the second period of action. Yager breaks the ice. With a hefty scoring drop from both sides. Maybe that'll open it up. More risk, more reward. Great save by Kruks out the other way. Finding a way down low for the Kota Cook Stars just to keep pressure alive. One and only Crusade to challenge its way. Here's Hex with it now. Near side. Looking to pull that one through the neutral zone. Down into the corner. Finds his way to Kruks. Kruks top side off the boards. Finds his way top side. Yager out in front. Hex with a backhand try. Not able to get that shot on as it deflects its way to the near outer slot. Here's Blue behind his own goal. Top side drives its way down into the Pittsburgh zone. It's Crusade, or Kruks and Crusade chase each other around back behind the goal line of Pittsburgh. Kruks down low. Thrown down the ice, but it hits Yager in the defensive zone. They'll have to battle its way through the neutral zone against Blue. Yager trying to tiptoe his way through the defense. Going to be hard to do against the uh, the Prodigals from Kota Cook. Two minutes, 33 to go here in the second. Still a three-goal lead on the board in favor of Pittsburgh. So we sit 5-2. to two. Brooks dangles. Top side finds Hex. Hex down low in the offensive zone, trying to keep that pressure applied. Stebon tries to take the puck away for the defense. Hex keeps it. Hex loses that one before the shot's released. Gets a shot in the end. Looks like he's going to try to find a way down the near side for a passing lane out to the point. Yager finds it, but not able to take it in stride. Here's Blue with it now. Blue top side. Crusade shooting. Nice save there by Crooks back between the pipes. Crooks out in front. Nobody in a red jersey to tuck that one away as he crosses through the slot. Crooks top side. Yager in the O zone. Off the backhand. Shot saved away by Blue between the hash marks. Here's Crooks back at the red line. Backhand pass top side. Stopped by Blue. Blue here in the offensive zone from the point. Shooting. Scoring. And that one just finds its way through the defense somehow, some way, some, some time today. Blue. Beautiful shot. Crooks save. Something I didn't see on the first go around. Beautiful stick check. Kota Cook stars back in this one. Only down by two. Crusade. Going to take this one down low. Goes off Crooks. 
Back through the neutral zone. Kirk's going to chip this one in. Debon. Low balls. Crusade. Top side. Debon once more with it. 125 and ticking here in the middle chapter of play. Look, looking to ring this one down and around town. Debon. Looks near side, banks this one off the wall. Crusade here has an empty cage. Backhand shooting. This misses near wide off the near side. And that post, thankful he wasn't torn into. 108 to go here in the second. Cody Cook stars and shambles right now after that shot attempt. I'm sure he's just getting roasted in the voice chat right now. 60 seconds to go. Second period of action. They're down by two. Any shot can be a dagger or a saving moment for the Cody Cook stars. Hex top side. Finds Crooks near side. Shooting. Nice save by Debon. Debon with the puck now. Looking towards the top side for a little refuge. Crutz at one across the grain. Crusade not able to adapt in time to take the puck away. In stride. Here's Crooks with it now. Down the near side. Sandwich between two red jerseys. Yager with a great sidestep. Trying to get that one back. Top side over to Crooks. Crooks, Crooks here with it now. Forehand shot goes off. Hex shooting. Scoring. Great catch. Great release. And a beautiful goal to make this one 6-3. to three. Beautiful shot. Beautiful turn. That gap just getting bigger by the moment. Here's Yager shooting far side and wide. Debon picking up the loose pieces, looking to find a way to get the jigsaw puzzle together. Yager just causing mayhem in the offensive zone with 16 seconds to go. Cody Cook wants one last drive, but so does Pittsburgh. Crooks near side, finds his way over to Hex with 10 seconds remaining. Three goals the gap. The Snake's on top of the Stars currently in tonight's race. Crusade hands it off to Ebon, back in, looking for the shot, not able to find it. That one ends the second period of action. They're keeping it close. They're battling out. They're getting shots on net, but Cody Cook just not able to hit the net enough. Three goals to six. The gap is there and very evident in the shot total. Very, very even everywhere else on the board. Three posts hit. Cody Cook hasn't hit one tonight. Faceoffs, one gap. Possession time, practically not even a difference there. But uh, someone's got a score that's not blue. Cody Cook has had 100% of their goals from one man's department. You got you to gotta help them out. Cody Cook left side in the red. Pittsburgh right side in the blue. The puck is dropped. The game is on, and time once again is underway for the final time between the Pittsburgh Vipers and the Cody Cook Stars. Blue looks top side. Hex off the backhand. Stopped by Blue. Blue here takes his way through the neutral zone. Forehand backhand. Shooting. Not able to send that one in. Here's Crusade. Crusade trying to find his way out in front. Blue, one of the few 29 to own that Crown Cosmetics, sporting it here. Looking for the ego boost. He's back shirtless. That's where his power is drawn from. Undefeated with that fit down on the SPL ice. Looking to keep it going. Four minutes, 25 to go here in regulation. They got their co work cut out for them. They need to get three and then another to take away this victory. Debon shooting just wide off the near side. Finds Crusade out in front just wide of Blue. Blue sets the pick. Here's Devon once more with it. 4-12 to go here in the third period of action. Here's Blue with the puck now. Forehand shot from the neutral zone. Not able to find the dice to roll it. Devon dancing. Chris taking that one top side. Kirks with it once more. Trying to find his way back to the neutral zone. Not able to find its way there easily. Crusade finds Blue. Goes off to Hex. Stick checked away. Devon not able to take that one away. Blue finds its way loose. Goes off Yager. Shooting. Goes off Blue. Found into the neutral zone. Crooks getting a piece of that one. Will it be enough to take possession away? No. Crusade topside. Gets past Yager. Thrown back into the mix. Hex finds a little bit of stride with the puck. Blue not making it easy for him. He'll have to retreat this one back over to Crooks. Near side bank pass over to Yager. Shooting. Scoring. And the Pittsburgh Vipers find a way to tap around the nugget. To find a way into the egg. Beautiful shot by Yager. Great passing play from the Pittsburgh Vipers, making something out of nothing there. I like the big bang. Three minutes, 34 to go here in the third period. And the gap is four. Yager, bank pass. Hex over here with it now. Goes over to Blue. Shooting. Will that be on? It will. Oh, the interference from Crusade was enough to keep the goal from getting saved. Man, a little Beyblade action going a long way. Great time. Stick checks. That's a four on the board for the boys in red. Backhand, stopped by Hex, or shot by Hex, stopped by Debon. Debon near side, cuts this one over top side. Crooks, down low. They take this one back out the top side. Three minutes remain. Only one can be victorious. Like that one show on uh, Disney. I think it was Disney, it's, it's just, no, no, it doesn't matter. Crusade shoots, scores! Top right corner where you stick the stamp, five on the board. Port Cota Cook with 2.55 to go. 
Beautiful takeaway. Crooks playing with his food for a little too long in the defensive zone before electing to make a pass. Crusade makes him pay for it dearly. They're back within two. The game's alive again. Crusade takes it, shoots it, scores! And there's another one. Oh, he's going to be thinking about that one tonight. One is the gap. Crooks in shambles. His stock way go down. That's, what the, that's, that's the technical term, right? There's a bear market, a bird market, and like a, and then the Crooks market. I don't know. Yager, top side, looking to take this one down low, trying to find an answer to the previous goals from Coda Cook's side. Crook shooting, goes off the e and that's just too hard to stop. The power, the tenacity, the, the, the viscosity of the shot. I don't know what other word, word mean good, that it. Eight on the board for Pittsburgh, six on the board for Coda Cook. Here with two minutes, 27 to go here in the third period of action. One team feeling more prevalent than the other right now. Blue with a great block, keeping this one down low. Blue. Top side, looking for the passing lane, takes a shot instead. Crooks here taking it away down to the near side for the Pittsburgh Vipers. Crusade down low for the Coda Cook Stars, goes corner to corner, top side to his captain. Back down low to the center, Crusade out in front. Crooks awarded that save as it comes back out the other way. 2.07 on the clock, only two goals the difference between these two teams. And in slap shot, that's, that's an easy cometh, easy go with territory. Yager. Dance, top side, finds Crooks. Outer slot, pole shoots, hits the post, and that one goes wide. Here's Hex back out in front, Deeb on there. Gets that block down to the near side, throws this one down the straight. Yager with a shot deflected wide by Blue at the blue line. Here's Blue with it once more for the boys in red. 144 to go here in the third. Two goals still the deficit. Blue, he might be muted. We'll see if his stick is. Great pass, just not able to find Debon before Hex did. Hex dancing, near side, had it, Blue beat, but not able to keep the puck on the curve. Here's Kirk's near side, takes it, shoots it off of Blue, and that one blocked wide. Here's Blue, forehand, stopped by Krooks. Hex down low, trying to find Yager, but not able to do so. Yager swinging a miss off the hip. Blue looking to keep this one along the far side, yellow. Debon shooting, near side and wide, 114 to go here with two minutes, or two points, the gap on the board. 69 seconds, who's it gonna be? You need one to get two. Yager shooting, nice save there by Debon. Krooks there, crash at the crease, but not able to make it out. Off the first nor second try, Yager backhand, stop by Blue, goes off to Hex. Hex here at the near side point, trying to make his moment worth it. Debon swinging the stick, making contact, will not make a difference. Yager's shot goes off Crusade over to Hex, right on the money, out in front, and that's going to be another goal for the Pittsburgh Vipers. And it's six to nine here in the Vipers zone. They're not going silently, they're not going without a fight. And they still got goals to score and people to talk to. 44 seconds to go here in the third period of action. Pittsburgh showing they got something to prove here tonight. Kirk's here with the puck. Looking down center lane, goes off Crusade. Crusade dancing, backhand, not able to get that one past Krooks. With 30 seconds remaining. The difference on the board seems staggering. Krooks, beautiful dangle. Looking down low, goes over to Hex. Hex here off the backhand, pass, no, it takes the shot instead and Blue's ready for it. Blue, great stick checking fight, just not able to win that one against Hex. Former Plymouth Plague top goal scorer from last season. Hex is going to play the stick game. Here's Crooks with it now. Seven seconds remaining. One last drive here for the Pittsburgh Vipers. Great takeaway by Blue. Shooting this one just wide at the cage. And that will do it for this game. Coda Cook 6, 9 for the Vipers here in the Pittsburgh of the Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh Vipers find a way to come out on top. And show they got something to talk about. Two losses. Coda Cook stars. Tonight's just not their night. I don't know what it is. They're just not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. 12 shots, six of them going in. Coda Cook Stars had some offense, but just not enough, I suppose. Pittsburgh's 20 shots found nine of them past the goaltender. In that last period, they found a few more passes than the opposition. A little bit more possession time than the Coda Cook Stars as well. But four goals coming out of blue. Crusade found the back and then at a couple times there in that last period. But up until that third, it was just the blue show. Three goals at the end of the second period. They got to find scoring from a different department. It can't just be one guy doing all the weight pulling for the offensive end. Yager 5, Hex 2, Crooks 2 for the Pittsburgh 9. And all saves, all six saves against the Coda Cook Stars coming out of Crooks' back wallet. And he's paying that one by hand. Good stuff. We're not done yet here tonight on the SPL Network. Thank you for tuning in to the broadcast. Barely makes it out break. to the other side. Coming up Here's next Yager at 10 o'clock, it's, it's the Plymouth play. The body it's the Coda Cook Stars. The zone it's tonight's second to last match. Shooting scoring here on the SPL Network. And the Neapolitans leading by two. We'll be right back after 4-0-2 on the clock.